Hello everyone, some sabotage news. Uh, it is not about the album. Um, uh, even though John talked about that album tentatively called Curtain Call, there has been no new news about that. But there has been some sabotage news, and unless you live under a rock, you've probably already heard that sabotage has been confirmed that they are to perform at the 2025 Brazil Monsters of Rock Festival scheduled for April 19th, 2025. Uh, the lineup will be, um, sadly, John Oliver will not be there. Uh, rather, it's going to be John Lee Middleton on bass, Chris Caffrey and Al uh, Pat uh, Petrelli, sorry, on guitar. Jeff played on drums, and resuming vocals will be Zach Stevens, uh, who has sung a number of albums for Sabotage. John's lack of appearance is not too much of a surprise, however. In the latest interview I heard, uh, you can see the other video where I was talking about the Sabotage album Curtain Call. John had specifically mentioned that he was no longer really interested in touring anymore because his own health has pretty much gotten in the way. In 2016, John announced on social media that he had suffered a stroke in April of that year, and that while it is not as bad as it could have been, there was definitely some setbacks to his health and his recovery, which are often associated with having a stroke. Despite his health issues, John did say that he had no regrets about the lifestyle he had lived that's the only lifestyle he really knew since he was 18. But he admitted that there comes a time where people need to step back and make some changes, and he claimed to have made those changes. However, John sadly would have a number of uh, recent run-ins with the law. Uh, just a few years after he mentioned his stroke and making these changes, in 2021 he was arrested for a DUI and possession of a controlled su substance, which happened to be cocaine. Then again, in 2023, there was another cocaine possession charge against John Oliva. John's own brother, Chris Oliva, was a founding member of Sabotage, as if, as if you don't know that. If you're on my channel, you know how much of a big Sabotage fan I am, and why I have so many Sabotage videos, especially with Chris Oliva in them. Anyway, Chris was killed in October of 1993 by a drunk driver. The drunk driver in that incident survived, and he had seven prior DUI arrests. And during the accident that killed Chris, he had a blood alcohol level of 0.294. Despite his numerous DUIs and the fact that he killed Chris Oliva, the drunk driver only served 18 months in jail. That is atrocious. Anyway, Zach would go on to join Sabotage prior to Chris's death, and together in Sabotage they would make the phenomenal album Edge of Thorns. To me, it is Zach's best album with Sabotage. Um, my favorite album from Sabotage is, uh, without a doubt, uh, Hall of the Mountain King. There is no album better than Hall of the Mountain King, but if there were an album that was second, it would definitely be Zach's Edge of Thorns. But Hall of the Mountain King is the staple for me, as is Sirens. My favorite song from <laughs> Sabotage. It goes back and forth between Hall of the Mountain King and Sirens. Um, anyway, Sabotage continued after Chris's death. They made Handful of Rain, Dead Winter Dead, Wake of Magellan, all with Zack, and then Zack left in 2000, and then John came back, and Sabotage made their final album to date, which is Poets and Mad Men, and hopefully we do get that curtain call and hopefully Sabotage's appearance in this event will signify more news about this Phantom album curtain call and maybe we'll get some more details as to when this might come out. Um, here's hoping, and uh, until then, keep on rocking and madness reigns.